Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this lead code series, first we are going to see about the do sum, um, which is the easy problem, which is an everyday problem, which is the most basic problem in lead code. And we are going to see how to solve this particular problem in Python. So, first we will read the question. Given an array of integers, nums, and an integer target, we need to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice, and you can return the answer in any order. So we will see the first case this particular first example. This is the first example which is available for us in lead code. So first of all, we need to think from the brute force way. Okay, what is brute force way? We can keep one element, then we can add all the elements and we can check whether the particular two elements adds up to nine or not. Then we can return those indices. That will take order of n square. Okay, but it's not that much time efficient, right? So we are going to think from much more efficient way and we are going to see much more useful and optimized way. That is order of n time and on order of n space we are going to achieve it now. Okay, now think like this. Now what is the linear uh, time complexity based solution is first I will keep I will pick one element okay now here I pick two okay then I will take the reminder by subtracting the current element two with the target I am going to get nine minus two is equal to seven then I will check if or exist in my dictionary or not since our dictionary is empty right now I will do else case I will store the current element 2 and its index okay when now next and the next iteration I will pick 7 here okay the next iteration I will pick 7. Now I will get seven, 9 minus 7 which is nothing but 2 which I have seen that 2 previously that it adds up to 9. Right? So since I have seen 2 previously this particular if, if statement is going to execute. When it executes I will return the current index i and the reminder in the dictionary which I stored to with its index that I will return. This is how you will uh, solve in linear time and end space. Now we will see the coding of it. So, initially I will create a dictionary, then I will use a for loop to iterate to, and also to retrieve the index and the value. We can use enumerate to do that, which will give us the index and the value. Okay. Then I will take the reminder target minus the value. Value will be in J. Okay, the I will be the index. Then I will check if reminder in my current dictionary or not. Else I will store the current value and the its 
respective index. If the reminder is my diction is in my dictionary, then I will I will return by accessing the dictionary with this the reminder and the current index. Running it worked. Now we are submitting. So this is how you solve the two sum and it's you can actually see it's much more efficient. Thanks for watching the video. Please let me know if you want to solve more lit code problems for you guys. Please like and subscribe and keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers.